In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update your company information in Zoho Books. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Smith and I'm a Zoho Finance Partner at AIO Bookkeeping. At AIO Bookkeeping, we help business owners do business better by getting their bookkeeping in order and reconnecting them with their business finances. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Now let's dive in. After you've signed up for your Zoho Books account, the first thing I would recommend doing is setting up your company profile. So you will do that by clicking the settings cog up here in the right hand corner and then selecting the organization profile option. The first thing you'll want to do is upload your logo. Click this upload your logo link and select the logo from your computer and click open. This logo will appear on all of your documents like your invoices and your bills. So you'll want to make sure that you pick the right one. Then next up below that is your organization name. If you need to make any updates to your organization's name here and how it is displayed, you can do that as well. Followed by selecting what industry your business falls under. So look through this list and pick the most applicable um, industry for your business. You can also select your business type, which is, you know, are you a sole proprietor, a partnership, LLC, corporation, select the appropriate one from this field. The next section here is your location. So um, you would have picked your location when you first signed up, but make sure that you add an address and that is the one that you would also want displayed on your document. So put your address in here, followed by the primary contact on your account. So if you wish to add multiple contacts or change how this displays, you can do that through the configure email preferences. Um, but just know that the primary contact is listed here. The next up is the fiscal year. If you happen to operate on a fiscal year that is not January to December, go ahead and select that other time period from this list. And then you will need to pick your accounting type. So are you cash or accrual? You would select the appropriate type from these two options here. If you're not sure, I would recommend talking to your CPA or whoever files your taxes and they can help you decide on which one your business actually uses or is right for your business. Next, just make sure the time zone that you selected when you first signed up is accurate and you can make a change to that if you need to. And you can also change your date format if maybe you want a different date format than what was originally um, selected in the default. The last two fields here are for your company ID and your tax ID if you want to add into the system. When you've put all the information in here, just go ahead and click this save button and you will be all set. There is one other setting or um, customization or personalization that I might recommend doing while you're at this. And if you head over to the preferences um, option here on the left and click the branding tab, you can actually see um, the logo that you just uploaded, but there is a themes option. So if you wanna pick a different theme, you can log in and see a different color scheme when you log in. So go through the options here and select the one that you you like and that will be what you see when you log in. There are a lot of other settings as you can see here and we'll go through a couple of these in some other videos but I, I would recommend um, looking through here and seeing if, if anything applies to you, you can always make some changes. Don't forget to catch one of my other videos where we'll go over a lot of other things in the Zoho Books platform. Thanks for watching.